Good morning, Fall City Middle School. I'm dropping my phone on the floor. It is Thursday, August 19th. Man, it's Thursday already. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, here we go. First of all, the most important thing, lunch. Today we're having pig in a blanket, our gratin potatoes, mixed vegetables, peaches, and a milk. Our birthdays today. Happy birthday going out to one of our new sixth graders, Jade Romo. Happy birthday to you. We hope you have a wonderful day. And it's actually your real birthday, not an unbirthday. So for sixth graders, an unbirthday is for all of you that have birthdays on weekends in the summer. We assign you a day during the school year where you get to we celebrate your birthday so happy birthday jade um let's see a couple uh little pieces of information number one if you are someone who needs to change your schedule even though we really don't do that if you want to appeal that to me you can by friday but you need to bring a parent permission slip a note from your parents saying that it's okay if you move now, don't go get a parent permission without talking to us first, because if you signed up for the class, you keep it. Because you don't like your lunch, that's not a reason to change your schedule, all right? The only time we'll move somebody is if they actually want music, or if they're moving into a class that's less crowded, um, that maybe needs a few extra students. So that is the only time we will move students, just so you know. Um, water bottles. Yesterday I talked about water bottles and how they have to be clear. They cannot be tinted. They have to be clear. Um, I looked it up on Amazon. You can get them for about five bucks a piece. So they're really easy to get. Somebody said they're two dollars at Walmart. They must be clear. We will remind you this week, um, but starting Monday we will take those water bottles, give them back to you at the end of the day. So make sure that you have a clear water bottle. Uh, next up, Got a, let's see here, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. It's from Mr. Kraft. Uh, he has an announcement. I'm going to read this here. We're having more and more black shoe marks on the gym floor. The floor was just cleaned over the summer, and we try to keep it looking its best at all times. If your shoes leave a lot of black marks when you're doing activities in the gym, please try to wear a different pair of shoes. Or if you see someone whose shoes leave a lot of black marks, please let us know so we can ask them politely to wear a different pair of shoes. Sometimes kids are running in there. They don't even know that they're marking up the floor. So if you see it happening, just let Mr. Kraft know or let me know, and we'll talk to the student and see if we can set them up um, so they wear something that's not scuffing up the floor. So be on the lookout for those black marks. Seventh and eighth graders, if you're interested in going out for fall sports, which is football, volleyball, or cross country, you have until Friday to decide that. After Friday's practice, you'll no longer be allowed to join sports teams. So talk to those coaches, all right? Um, we've been on you about that. You know, your parents have had lots of different communications about physical forms and, and those things. So we want everybody out for sports if possible any activity. We want as many kids out as possible, but there's a point where we have to move on because we got to start getting ready for our season. So talk to the coaches. Talk to me if you're interested. If you're having trouble, we'll work with you on that. But Friday is it if you don't talk to anyone. All right. It's that time. A-OK -okay of the day. And it's going from Miss Milam <clears throat> out to Callan Furness uh, for being so helpful with others with their technology. So Callan, Here's looking at you, man. Great job. These sixth graders coming strong, helping out with the technology. So good job, Callum Furnish. You'll be entered into the lunch competition for AOKs. All right, here we go. Words of wisdom. The first days of school can be both exciting and scary. You may have gotten up the first few mornings feeling apprehensive. Maybe you wondered, are my classes going to be hard this year? Will I like my teachers? Well, guess what? The person sitting next to you and even your teacher probably had some of the same feelings you did. So let's be especially kind to each other as we settle into the new year. Famous golfer Hal Irwin once said, If you're not just a little bit nervous before a match, you probably don't have the expectations of yourself that you should have. So maybe some of your nervousness is because you've set some great expectations for the school year. 
Hopefully you're expecting to make better grades, meet new friends, or get more involved with extracurricular activities. If that's the case, remember this, with great expectations, you can make it a great school year or not because the choice is always yours. With that, this is Mr. Bangert. Have a wonderful Thursday, everyone. I will see you tomorrow on Friday. Enjoy your pig in a blanket. And happy birthday, Jade Romo. We'll see you tomorrow.